Well, hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to week two of our series called No Matter What. I'm really excited for today because we have an excellent message for you in store. Anyway, last week we started this series and we talked about the fact that Easter is not just a holiday, but it's also a reminder. We talked about the fact that there's this guy named Jesus who did something for us on Easter and every year when we celebrate, we're reminded of what it means and what it means for our lives. But before we jump into week two, I want you to take a few minutes and answer this question. If your house was on fire and you only had time to grab three things, not living things, like not people or pets, but three things that were not living, what would those three things be and why? Turn to somebody and answer that. Well, I don't know what you decided or what you said you would grab, but for me, I would grab my laptop because that's where I get all my work done. I would grab my wife's phone because it has all of the baby pictures from our son. And I would also grab my wedding video because it's the only copy we have. And sometimes I like to watch it to remind myself of our young love. So I'm not sure what you decided to grab, but chances are you decided to grab something that has value to you. Maybe it was your PlayStation or Xbox because that's how you play video games. Maybe it was like a blanket or something from your childhood that has a special memory, or maybe it was like a lacrosse stick or your phone. Whatever it was, you probably decided to grab it because it's valuable to you and to your life. Because for a lot of us, we find value in the things that we do. Maybe you felt really valuable because you placed first in a match when you were playing video games with your friends, or maybe you find value from the fact that you're really good at sports or you're really good at school and you get good grades. Maybe you find value in the fact that your TikTok almost went viral and you're hoping that it just takes the next step next time and blows up and you become famous. I'm not sure if you ever had a moment or something like that happen in your life, but there are times that something happens and we get recognized for it and that's what brings us value. We find value in the things that we get recognized for in the way that other people notice that. And it can feel really good when we're in moments where we're doing really well at sports and our coaches are giving us praise or we're the, the most popular person in our school and so everybody wants to be our friend and we get invited to go to the coolest places. Or maybe we find value in the fact that people love the posts that we put on social media. The problem with this is that when we find value in the things that we do, sometimes it can be really beneficial, but sometimes it can also be negative. Because when people aren't recognizing the things that we do, or what we're getting value from, it can be a little bit hurtful. Like I can remember one time on my report card, I got all A's and just one B plus. And I went and I showed a member of my family and they looked at it and they said, hmm, what's up with that B plus? And I cried and I cried. No, I didn't cry, but it was really sad because it made me feel in that moment that I wasn't valuable. Because I wasn't getting recognized for the fact that I had these good grades. And maybe you've had that happen to you as well. Maybe you didn't get invited to hang out with your friend group. Maybe you didn't make the team. Maybe you failed the test. Or maybe you're just feeling like in life, you don't really have a lot to offer people. Sometimes, when we're not feeling recognized by others, it makes us feel a little bit worse about ourselves. Like we don't have value. And it leaves us asking questions like, do I matter? Does what I do matter? And does it even matter that I'm here? And Easter serves as a reminder to the answer to those three questions. And if you've ever felt that way, just know that you are in good company because the person that we're going to look at in the story of Easter today was somebody that didn't really have a lot of value in the society around her. You see, her name was Mary and she wasn't the mother of Jesus. This was another Mary that was really good friends with Jesus. But in the society at that day, she did not have a lot of value because she was a woman and women didn't have a lot of value back then, but also because she was considered to be a social outcast. This was a person that was like lowest on the totem pole. Nobody wanted to be around. Nobody wanted to hang out with. And from all points of view, it seemed like she had no value. But watch what happens when Mary has an encounter with Jesus on Easter. You see, we're going to pick up this story in John. So if you have a Bible, turn to it, or you can follow along on the screen. In John 20, verse 11, it says, Mary was standing outside the tomb crying as she wept. She stood and she looked in. Now, a quick time out. Now, what happened at this point in the story is that Jesus was killed on Friday and all of his friends were sad about it. 
I mean, obviously it's sad when somebody you love passes away. And so what Mary decides to do is to go visit the tomb or the grave of Jesus on Sunday morning. And so she's standing there, she's upset, pretty understandably, and all of a sudden she looks into the tomb and realizes that Jesus isn't there anymore. She sees two people standing there, and the Bible tells us that they were angels, and they said, Why are you crying? And she said, Because they have taken my Lord away from me. And then all of a sudden something happens. Jesus, on Sunday morning, who was dead on Friday, appears to Mary. And this is what the verse says. In verse 14, it says, She turned to leave and saw someone standing there. It was Jesus, but she didn't recognize him. Dear woman, why are you crying? Jesus asked her. Who are you looking for? And in this moment, Jesus appears before Mary, but she's really upset and she doesn't really understand what's going on. And so Jesus asked her, Hey, dear woman, what, what are you crying about? You see, Jesus says woman here, and he doesn't address her personally, but addresses her the same way that everybody around her would have, just as a woman who didn't really have a lot of value and didn't really have a lot to contribute. Mary responds in the next verse by saying, She thought he was the gardener. Sir, she said, if you have taken him away, tell me where you have put him and I will go get him. And in verse 16, it says, Mary, Jesus said. Now in this moment, something that's so powerful and something I don't want you to miss, is that up to this point, Mary had not had a lot of value. And Jesus even addressed her the way that the rest of the world did by calling her woman. But in a moment, Jesus looks at her and he says her name. He says something personal to Mary and he gives her value and validates the fact that she is a person and she is important to Jesus. The Bible says that Mary turned to him and said, Teacher, and she embraced Jesus. And then something totally crazy happens. Jesus uses Mary to tell the rest of the world that he was alive. I don't want you to miss how important this is. You see, Mary was somebody that had no value to the society around her, but Jesus in one moment elevates her to a position of value because he uses her to do what nobody else would have thought likely. He uses her to tell the story of Easter Sunday, which is a really incredible thing. It shows that God wants us to be a part of the story. And even when the world around us doesn't assign us a lot of value, we know that we have value because of who Jesus and who God says we are. So the one thing that I want you to remember today, the big idea, the one thing I hope that you take away if you forget everything else, is that Easter reminds us we are important no matter what. Easter reminds us that you and I are important no matter what because we're important to God. The same way that Jesus looks at Mary, this person who is kind of at the lowest point of society and uses her to to tell the most important story ever told, shows that the way that God feels about you and me is not the same as the way the rest of the world does. You see, Jesus thinks that you and I have value and importance and invites us to be a part of the story of Easter, which is a really, really incredible thing. And if we could understand what this meant for our lives, I think it would be like having a superpower. Because it wouldn't matter what other people were saying about us. It wouldn't matter what our GPA was, how well we're doing in sports, what our status was in our video game group, or whatever it could be. No matter what happens in life, we get to be reminded of the fact that we are important because God says we are. So with that being said, I want you to think about a couple of questions before we leave. Number one. Do you think that you're important? Number two, do you treat yourself like you're important? And number three, do you treat other people like they're important? Your answer to those questions is so important because it shows maybe how you feel about yourself or other people. And God wants to speak to the fact that even if you don't feel like it, Easter is a reminder that you are important no matter what.